Welcome back to Romany, everybody. Holy shit, this is where I say holy shit as I tend to do. We're here again with my friends. <laughs> friends, Marcus Sensory. Hello. And Toon Sheba. Toon Sheba's back. back. The house when they weren't looking. <laughs> we have our guest star back. Help us through another top ten list. And this time, tonight, we are ready to go with the top ten Moe characters of all time. Yay. <laughs> shit. Blindsiding <laughs> Toon Sheba. He was not ready. <laughs> he was not ready. He had no idea this was coming. <laughs> so, let's jump into our list. <laughs> so, Toon Shiba, your thoughts upon Moe, first off. Uh, Moe is a disease. And, <laughs> um, I am not infected with it and do not understand why everybody else loves it. Dude, once it reaches your heart, it gives you that tickling feeling that you can never get rid of. Dude, Toon Shiba is, <laughs> is an anime scrub. <laughs> Because he can't deal with Moe. <laughs> he can't handle the Moe fever. Dude, the Moe fist. Dude, I'm it just is. an emotionless soul. I don't. I'm cute. Just not that's work because, for me. That's because you haven't been exposed to it's enough. Okay. We, we, are, we are here to educate yes. on the Moe. <laughs> and the top 10 Moe characters with an honorable mention. Honorable mention. So let's hit up that number 11 honorable mention. Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. She's cute as fuck. She has super cute. As we mentioned in the top 10 voice actors, Monica Rial voices her, who's like the sweetheart of anime. So, obviously she's probably going to be on this list just by default. So. She went from Dead Man Wonderland, cute as shit, liked red bean buttons. Like mittens. Mittens. <laughs> adorable. I liked her hair. Yeah. Her hair was cool. She was super cute. Now you didn't put, here's the input from Toon Shiba. Her hair was cool. Look, cool, cool doesn't matter yeah. here. Uh, I don't it's think fun. you understand. We don't give a fuck about cool. Uh, it's the cuteness. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Moe factor. <laughs> Which brings us to number 10 on this list. Number 10. Katomi from Clanad. She is also, strangely enough, cute as shit. Sits in the library all day. On her Super knees. Super smart. Scoots around on her knees and says, Here, sit next to me while patting the ground. How Dude, adorable. I love her. She sucks at the violin, but who gives a shit? She's <laughs> super adorable. She's good anyway. She's not bad at the violin. She's she has good. that nice little quaint voice. You're like, You're adorable. Keep talking. Toonshiba likes her hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cute purple color. <laughs> I'm ribbons. I'm down with purple hair. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I like purple. I like purple. <laughs> so Katomi at number ten. This is a very lax list. I love it. <laughs> number nine, Mima from Anahana. Dude, the just the perfect Moe. Like, she is she the angel. She can do no wrong. Yeah. She's an angel, literally. <laughs> an adorable angel. <laughs> and a cute little dress with cute little white hair. Yeah, cute white hair, man. Yeah. <laughs> she's got she's got the ideals. <laughs> See the Ana Ana review. <laughs> exactly. To get more details on Mimba. <laughs> Number eight, my waifu for laifu. <laughs> <laughs> Moogie from Kaon. Dude, she's got Dorito chip eyes. And she's adorable. <laughs> and she knows how to throw down her McDonald's fries. Yes, she does. You throw them in a pile, according to her. <laughs> she sees one person do. Let me throw them in the pile as well. <laughs> And Dad, why did you send this big ship over to my <laughs> resort? And most importantly of all, got eyebrows. Back length blonde hair. <laughs> Adorable. Because <laughs> if my dad owns a store, I will buy this guitar for you. <laughs> How cute is she? Cute enough to marry, that's what. Exactly. Now, <laughs> number seven. Your girl. Gary from Kill Me Baby. She's cute as fuck. She looks like she's high all the time. <laughs> she does. She looks absolutely stoned. But like, she's cute. She's little. She's a ninja. She's a good ninja. She's a cute ninja. <laughs> With purple hair. With purple hair, yes. Must be told. Purple hair. Oh you know what? God. The rest of her character doesn't matter. Purple hair. <laughs> Moving, on. <laughs> Moving on to number five. Shiro from No Game No Life at number six. Woo. I don't know all that much about her. She wears a little crown on her head. She has long purple hair. This light purple this time. Yeah. yeah. This is a whole shade different. And she. It's a huge difference. She's oh. 11. She's Makes 11. Her cute, <laughs> yeah. I guess. The, the point is she's little, all right? The cute factor is there. She has the little quiet voice. And she sleeps a lot, which is also adorable. 
Mm. He has all the traits of Moe. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of lazy characters. Uh oh. Number five. Hype right, from this season. Umaru. Umaru. Fucking maracas. No. Where's a little, what is it, like a, <laughs> is it a beaver, is it a badger? Uh, a hamster a onesie. Hamster. Yeah, a little hamster onesie. <laughs> Shrinks from a real human size to a little size <laughs> and talks about the potato. Potato. And the cola. <laughs> and her cookies and her video games. <laughs> and she's adorable. <laughs> she's like what, she's got five episodes out? Yeah, she's and got she's, five she's, or six of them. And she's number five on this list. <laughs> Moe <laughs> experts, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, number four, the Queen of Moe. Dude, quite true. Konata from Lucky Star. Lucky Star, hi. That's Toon Shiba's favorite Moe show. Or, <laughs> Mo or, or just show in general. He totally. saw that blue hair and he was like, mm, that's the one. <laughs> the blue hair. <laughs> totally, and just the way they talk about food. Yes. Masterful. Yeah. <laughs> food conversations for approximately a third of the episode. That's what I look for in it. <laughs> Captain of Moe. Boom. She likes games, she likes anime, she likes all sorts of things. And that she's we like. cute doing it. She's cute as shit too. Yeah. Which leads us into number three. Yui, Yui. from K On, who is also <laughs> cute doing everything. Yes. <laughs> Especially when they do the little girl flashback. Exactly. I her die. And her sister. Yeah. I die. <laughs> but no, she's adorable doing everything. Every episode. Every single one. Why week. do you watch K On to watch Yui goof yeah. around? <laughs> And be adorable. You dress up her guitar, you yeah. know. And run on the way to school and yes. stop the pet cats <laughs> and look at everything else. Yui. Yui. Number two, though. Sukasa. Back to Lucky Star. I love Sukasa. She's cute as shit. Pink hair. There you go. Pink Pinkish people. baby purple hair. <laughs> yeah. Bad things happen with, to her. With, she cries. With, She's cute as shit. With little beady eyes when she's yeah. confused. <laughs> and all about that, uh... Relative bowl. Base. Oh, okay. The relative <laughs> bowl, yes. <laughs> she knows about her food as well. <laughs> we hack up the food episode with Lucky Star. Episode one, go and look. Sing it as number one. The number one. Schultz, you are more than yes. welcome. <laughs> you are more than welcome. <laughs> and if you know Schultz, number one is Fuko from, from Planet. Planet. Head. <laughs> we could not. Here. Yes, we couldn't. I mean, she wear, she's super tiny. She wears little baggy clothes. She has a little party hat on. She does the rhyme thing where she just like blathers the whole time. <laughs> she tries to kidnap little Ishio. There's my blooper sound. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll keep doing it. Something about a starfish, that's all I can add. Yeah, she, she tries Brown to give and grayish you a, hair. She tries yeah. to give you a starfish because she loves you. <laughs> she does the little high five thing where she has to dribble, dribble, and shoot, score, and then gives the high five. That's adorable. She's cute as shit. She's super adorable. And we love her. We love her. But not as much as Schultz. Yes. This is for you, Schultz. This is for Schultz. This list. <laughs> the Moe love was all for Schultz. And special thanks to Two Shiba for <laughs> swinging by for this top 10 list. For his valued input. For the wonderful Moe expert he is. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> basically, hang, basically hanging around to see us oogle and just adore these super cute Moe characters that we love so much. But hopefully we're going to get them to stick around for a couple more top 10 lists that we might have. I mean, it's season. not like we planned it. Oh <laughs> my goodness, they know. They're on to it. Immersion but it. if you did enjoy this top 10 list, check out our other top 10 lists. Mm. As well as Marcus's character study classroom. <laughs> and the anime reviews we have, as well as the random podcast. Specifically the Kill and Kill review. The, the Kill and Kill review. Personal thing, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot to offer depending on who you are. <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> oh my god, way to spoil it for us! <laughs> oh, well, damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it's okay, man, don't read too much into it. I mean, it's Mark, a wonderful show, just close your eyes and listen to it in Japanese and you'll never know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Read Marty's description, you know what you're getting into. Dude, exactly. <laughs> Alright, but until next time from Bowie, this is Crucius signing out. Later, guys. Suck a dick. I mean, bye me. <laughs> See ya.